Howdy. My name is Deborah Axon. I want to tell my girls that I love them and miss them. Mom loves Katie. Mom loves Christine. Also, I want to disprove a few equation statements for Matt, Catlin, and Bill made some equations that beg to be either proven true or proven false by giving counterexamples. I will do this in this presentation. Keep in mind that these math equations are related to each other. Here we go. For Matt's last equation. 1637, a very long time ago. It is impossible to separate a cube into two cubes or a fourth power into two fourths power or in general any power higher than the second into two like powers. Stated in more general language, the equation a to the n plus b to the n equals c to the n has no solutions for any n higher than two. Leads us to Fermat Catlin conjecture. A to the M plus B to the N equals C to the K has only finite many solutions. A, B, C, M, N, K. Here, A, B, C are positive co-prime integers and M, N, K are co-prime integers that satisfy 1 over N plus 1 over N plus 1 over K is less than 1. This is E, Q, 1. Here are a few non-solutions. The two Beals conjecture. And this is the one that's worth a million bucks if proven true or counterexamples are given. If a to the x plus b to the y equals c to the z, where a, b, c, x, y, and z are positive integers and x, y, and z are all greater than 2, then a, b, and c must have a common prime factor. According to Andrew Beal. In other words, there are no positive integers x, m, y, n, z are satisfying the equation x to the m plus y to the n equals c to the r, where m, n, r is greater than 2 and x, y, z are co prime, that is gcd, greatest common divisor x, y equals gcd, y, z equals gcd x, z equals 1. It's according to Peter Norvig, and he seems to be a really brilliant man. He's also trying to find counterexamples just like I am. Only he's using a computer program, Python program. Okay, I realize that trying to find counterexamples to Fermat's last equation would be like beating up a dead horse, but it sure sounds like a lot of fun. This looks like easy math, but some mathematicians use a computer program. Not me. Here we go. 4 to the 7th plus 7 to the 5th equals 33,191. It's a prime number. This is my basic equation. I'm going to take it to the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, any power I want it to be. Let's say that n is greater than or equal to 3. GCD equals 1. Another equation, counterexample, 4 to the 12th plus 7 to the 5th equals 16,794,023, another prime number. Take it to the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, etc. power. Let's say that n is greater than or equal to 3. GCD equals 1. Another equation, counterexample. 4 to the 20th plus 7 to the 3rd equals 1 trillion 99 billion 511 million 628,119. Another prime number. Take it to the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, whatever, whatever power you want. Let's say that n is greater than or equal to 3. GCD equals 1. Fourth example, 4 to the 22nd 
plus 7 to the 4th equals 17 trillion 592 billion 186 million 46,817 another really big prime number take it to any power you want third fourth etc etc let's say the n is greater than or equal to three gcd equals one my name is deborah Axon, and this concludes my proof that there are counterexamples to fermat callan and bill's conjecture thanks bye